All right, welcome to my FNCS Chapter 4 Season 3 Bundle Gameplay and Review. So first and foremost, this is a limited time bundle. Once this rotates out of the shop, which will happen in a few days, it's gone for good. You can never get this again. So if you're collecting all the FNCS items and skins, definitely be sure to pick this up. The skin itself is only 800. Oh, so it actually tells us the date, August 21st. So today's the 16th. So you got five days to purchase this if you want it, and then it's gone for good. So you get the skin, the Champion's Rucksack Back Bling, the Starjet Pickaxe, the Good To Go Wrap, and then the Not Without A Fight Music Pack. So a pretty solid bundle. It's only 1,500 V-Bucks for all of this. I know it says 2,000 there, but it's actually 1,500. So first of all, how does the FNCS Renegade compare to its original counterpart, which is the Renegade Runner? A lot of people are saying this is a much, much better style, or I guess it's actually a whole different skin, but in terms of what it looks like, it's actually just a style of this one right here. Now, this was not the most well-received skin, the Renegade Runner. I liked it. I thought it was really cool, but a lot of people in the community don't like the robotic aspect. But I think I agree that this FNCS Renegade looks a little better than the Renegade Runner. I do like the color scheme here, but this just makes it pop a little bit more and it looks a little less robotic. I mean, they put that almost gem bedazzled stuff in the middle and on her knee guards there and it almost makes it look, like I said, a little less robotic. So it's obviously the exact same skin, just with a much brighter and a lot of people are saying cleaner color scheme. So how does it compare to some of the other FNCS skins we've had recently? Uh, it's up there, I think. I like the championship aura, although she's pretty sweaty. You don't really see a lot of people run Championship Jonesy anymore. I really like the Dummy Supreme, but it's very, very bright. The Recon Champion, likewise, had a lot of bright colors there. FNCS Champion Seeker was well, just okay. A lot of these are obviously just remakes of skins we already have. In fact, I think all of them are. This was one of my least favorite, the FNCS 3-1 Champion. Loved the Victor Elite. I love that purple. Major Glory was just okay, and the Champion, one of my favorites. Back bling seems to be pretty bleh. You know what, let's see. I feel like this is different than some of the other FNCS back blings we've had. Yeah, so this is actually a pretty new design from what I can see. Normally we have these types of shield. Aura had a pretty unique one, but that's obviously her original back bling. I don't know, in terms of what they all look like, it's a little unique at least. I think it might actually be reactive with those speakers, we'll see. Pickaxe looks pretty good. We've had a lot of cool pickaxes, if I remember correctly. Let's take a look at all of them. Oh, I guess there's only four. What the? So this is just a remake of the Renegade Runners, just like Aura's was. And I don't remember that one. Little dagger type thing. Someone had a baseball bat. That might have been Jones's. Now, we don't have a glider. And the only FNCS glider is the Hammerhead Shark, but it has a very bright color scheme. So I went with this, the Heist Flyer. It kind of has that same green color. So that's kind of cool. And then the wrap that comes with it is called Good To Go. So let's hop into a real match. We'll do some real gameplay and we'll review it live. Oh boy, I have a crown. That's not good. So let's check out the heist flyer here. Yeah, I think that actually goes pretty clean. It's got that same green color scheme. That's awesome. So this was actually from the most wanted game mode. So I don't know how many people actually have this. Okay, so it's nighttime out so we can get a good glimpse on everything. Let me take that off so we can see the back bling. So the pickaxe is nicely animated. You can see the green jet streams, so to speak, coming out the star there. It's got a nice green and white and a little bit of that chromey effect to it. Contrail is really clean. You can see that nice green, almost sparkly effect. Here's the pullout. Nothing really special there. It's got a nice splash though. Watch this. A nice green, almost shocky splash. That's really clean, especially here in the dark. I like that. How about when you hit weak spots? Okay, well that wasn't supposed to happen. Doesn't look like it does anything special for weak spots. No, nope. just looks really, really clean. You can see the nice glow from the back bling. Let's see if it's reactive to emoting. No, I thought for sure those speakers would pulse with music, but it doesn't appear to be the case. So here's the wrap. Oh, that looks pretty sweet as well. Look at that. 
I do enjoy that. Let's shoot it once, see if there's any secret reactivity. No. Nope. So, a great color scheme all around. Looks good. So, this is definitely a good looking skin. I think they did a phenomenal job with these colors. Very clean. Whoa! Kill this bot and see if anything happens. I didn't notice anything special there. Someone just shot a Cybertron cannon at us. We're gonna creep up on him nice and slow like. Ah, that was the dude with the cannon. What's up now, sir? Thanks for the loot, good. I didn't see any secret reactivity there. Still a very solid looking skin. There's no doubt about it. So there you go. That is the FNCS Renegade skin. What do I think about it? I think it's not that bad. I'm a big fan of all the Renegade Raider remakes just because I don't own the original myself. So I'm always all for getting any kind of Renegade Raider skin. Do I think it's a step up from the original Renegade Runner? I think so. But it just depends on if you like the bright colors. If you do, then you're going to love this skin. If you don't, then you may as well just wait until the Renegade Runner comes back. But at the same time... If you collect the FNCS skins, you're going to want to get this because it's going to be gone for good. You'll never be able to get this again. So if you're wondering what happened in the match, this is what happened. I was all set to win. I've got the heisted accelerant. I've got the mythic MK. And someone over here, this guy right here, 13, was kind of watching me. So he comes over here and he hits me once. Right there, that hit me. So he just hit me there, and then my dogs started barking. So I was like, oh, man, I'm in a top eight situation, so I heal up real quick. I hear the dogs barking, so I know someone's at the door. So I try to find desperately somewhere to hide. I break up here, and I have a bot with me. I thought about dismissing her, but I just left her. I put her on move, and I went up in this corner right here, and I stayed. And I thought for sure I'd be back in time because I wanted to fight that guy. He was pestering me for like five minutes from Mega City. And look! It looks like a bot tried to get me. My bot fought that bot and eliminated them. So I'm literally just sitting up here AFK. And I go out and unfortunately the delivery guy starts talking to me. I'm like, oh man, I don't want to be rude. So I chat with him for a few minutes, a few minutes, a few minutes. And then I come running back in and the guy was right next to me. I mean, we could have had an epic fight, but then it looks like the storm closed in. He got right next to me. Look how close he was. He never would have suspected that I was just sitting AFK up here. I had the perfect loadout, but then it just ticks away. And I come back downstairs and I said I had fourth place. I had a crown. I had everything you needed to win this match. And that was that. I died AFK. Let's see if he actually wins because it said I got fourth place. Oh, he did. He won the game. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And he did a magic trick. Oh, man. Look at this glitched out hair. Gross. So let me just show you this part because this is where I first encountered him. He was just sitting up there. I could have easily finished him off. I think I hit him for about 180 here. I mean, he gets absolutely fried. Look how much health he has left. He was one tap. And I had six shockwave grenades. And I was going to launch over there, but that's about when the dog started to bark. I saw this bot down here. This is an actual AI. I limbed him. But this guy was dead. I had six shockwaves. Could have easily got over here and finished the guy that won the match. That is so frustrating. So frustrating. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time.